Here's our tale of the tape. Mike Lemaire versus Malik Watson-Smith in the middleweight division. Actually, welterweight division of 170 pounds. Mike Lemaire, 33. Malik Watson-Smith, just 27. Similar in height, but the reach advantage goes to Watson-Smith. Professional experience. Big edge for Malik Watson-Smith from his time training and fighting in Thailand. But of those 84 fights, he does have a 61% KO ratio. But as I mentioned, Mike Lemaire stepping into the glory ring for the 14th time. So that gives him a good edge when it comes to kickboxing and glory experience. We are once again scheduled for three three-minute rounds in glory's welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, he made his debut here in Chicago at Glory 44 with a technical knockout win. His professional record, 59 wins, 25 losses, and 36 career knockouts. Standing six feet even, 1.83 meters, he weighed in at fight time at an even 169 pounds, 76.7 kilos. Fighting tonight out of the windy city of Chicago, Illinois. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Malik. His opponent fighting out of the white corner, a two-time world Muay Thai champion. Take that home a professional away, record, 22 wins and six losses, eight of those wins coming by way of knockout. He stands six feet, one inch tall, 1.86 meters, and weighed in at 169 and one half pounds, 76.9 kilograms. Fighting tonight and hailing out of San Diego, California. Oh, no. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Mike, the French The referee in charge of this bout is Brian Miner. Fight hard, fight clean. You want to touch close to it now? Good luck to you. Luke, you ready? Mike, you ready? Three rounds in the welterweight division. Michael Mayer in the white gloves, Malik Watson Smith in the black. What do you expect to see in this fight? Well, I think Mike Lemaire has to pressure because he knows Malik Watson is very break, dangerous break, with his clean, kicks. Break, to shut down the kicks, you got to pressure with the boxing. So this is why you see Lemaire staying nice and close to him. And Watson Smith putting everything he's got into those punches. And Watson Smith said in his previous fight he's been deducted points for clinching. So in this camp in particular, and since his last fight, he's been focusing on his inside boxing, not clinching. He needs to box his way out. Not just get comfortable in that clinch range. It's LeBaire who's closing the distance early. Yeah, LeBaire has that grinding style. He's going to sit in your face, keep trying to tear you down. Right, right. Good low kick there from LeMaire. As Watson Smith just slowed down for a minute. Yeah, there's some redness on the, the right eyebrow of Mike LeMaire. Yeah, I don't Mike. know if he was cut or a scratch. Break. Some sort of scrape. Sometimes you can get scraped by the laces on the inside, even though they're, co they're covered with the tape. But Watson Smith said he's going to win by knockout tonight. No doubt about it. He's from Chicago. Said he's not going to have too many friends here tonight, though, because they were all asking him for tickets. Right. And he just started right. blocking people on his phone. Right. Yeah, he says he shuts his phone off, like, in the last month of camp. He doesn't want to deal with people. He just wants to stay focused on the fight. So if you want to get a hold of Malik a month before his fight, I got no clue. Just show up at his house. He said Ticketmaster works just fine if you want tickets. Landed some good punches here. There is some involvement happening in his boxing. But the French Rock's gonna keep trying to pressure you. Break! We break! We break! I go! I go! Mike, back with the leg! Back with the leg! see a big size difference. Whoa! Good right hand there for Watson Smith! Everything we've been trying! 
Get back on the leg, Mike. Break. Corner of Mike Lemaire wants the low kicks. You always want the low kicks, don't you? Absolutely. Try to high kick there. Why not? You know, Watson Smith is being boxing heavy right now, so the time to throw your low kick is when your opponent throws his hand. So, good strategy for Team Lemaire. Interesting to see how the judges score this first round. Yeah, very interesting because the biggest strikes came from Malik Watson with those punches, but the pressure from Lemaire had to have scored well as well. Let's get to know Mike Lemaire a little bit better. You can't see him, but he's there right now as they work on that cut. Born in Nice, France, fighting out of San Diego, California. He won the Road to Glory. Three wins in one night, and that's what got him on our radar. Yeah, you got to rip, bro. But he's jumping you, right? It's going to fucking add up. With something behind that low kick, Mike. He's standing right Let's there. go. Calm down. Calm down. Let's calm second, down. Okay? All the instructions from the mayor go to the leg kick. But here's Malik Watson Smith. Free smoke. Signature strike the head kicks. But tonight seems to be wanting to use his kicks outside of the ring. A musician plays the violin and saxophone. Says he's a little bit better with the saxophone. I think you asked him to come out playing it. Yeah, it's kind of hard to play the saxophone when you're wearing gloves. But. I'm stupid, so I still asked him if he'd do it. There's the crew supporting Mike Lemaire here. And his his corner was adamant they wanted not just low kicks, but they wanted him to throw those low kicks with more aggression. Yep. You're gonna throw it, put some intent behind it. I mean, and he's gonna try to mix it well with his punches. Watch your heads going in. Let's go, fight. Oh, big right hand. Straight down route one. Perfect. Straight elbow in right down the pipe. Boy, he teed that right hand up perfectly, didn't he? Yeah, set up well. You know, a good right hand can come off a good low kick. Low kicks and right hands work together. Nice job by the corner to close up that cut. Seems like it's under control. A minute into round two. Fight out, fight out. Mike Lemaire feels that Malik Watson Smith is not on his level. He said, I should be fighting exclusively top five guys right now. Yeah, he was very vocal that he wants to go to Europe, especially in France. He wants to fight the bigger right, Europeans, right. and he had a, a good right. fight where he went to Strasbourg and got a split decision win there. He always loves fighting in his home country of France. Of course, speaks fluent French. His father came to right. Miami to see him fight Richard Abraham, and his dad could not believe he didn't get the decision. Oh, nice knee, though, there by Watson as he was falling backwards. This is a definitely a better round for Lemaire. I think he found the awkward punches. He knows what Watson Smith's wanting to do. Smith breathing with his mouth open. Look at that, Joe. He tends to do that. I've seen that a lot in his fights in the past. Looks like his mouthpiece is going to fall out. Break! Off the ropes. First round, two judges gave it to Malik Watson Smith. Watch One judge in. gave break, it to Lemaire. Break, break, clean break, clean break. Let's go. Watch your heads. Fight. Oh, Lemaire trying to shoot for that right hand again. And it was there too. Watson's yeah. hands were down. Break, 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 break. Let's go. Stop holding. Fight. Oh, another right hand, and Watson Smith was certainly buzzed break. there. Break, yeah, when you throw a straight break, right, stop, hold, stop, sometimes fight. turn it into a hook. Oh, a Superman punch from Lemaire. Yeah, closes the break. distance quick, gets on to the break. inside where he wants to be. Really good round for Lemaire, who punctuates it with a high kick before the bell.
The city of Chicago is not done with us yet. They play host to tomorrow night's Glory 72, the featherweight title up for grabs. Petch Panamarong defending and trying to extend his seven fight, two year winning streak. His title will be on the line against number one ranked Kevin Vanostrand. The weekend of glory continues tomorrow night with Glory 72. And we saw some good strikes here with Lemaire, and it was that right hand, the best shot he had in that round. You can see the way he snapped Malik Watson Smith's head back, touched the jab, and he got that right hand right under the chin. So that's why it kind of forced Malik's head back a little bit more. Just under the chin, almost like a throat shot, which can make you kind of take a big breath and wind you. But not pleasant, that's for sure. Right, right. All three judges scoring that one for Lemaire. What you going right there? Come here. Stop. Come here for a second. Headbutt right to the nose. Let's go. I'm good. It's good. I'm good. All right. So a headbutt to the hey, nose, and you saw your head going in. Let's go. two Fight. judges have it even. So if Malik Watson Smith can win this round, he could still win the fight. Yeah, he could find something, but Lemaire's just seems to be picking up in that second round. So let's see if this break, break, break. continues into this third. But Lemaire seems to be the fresher fighter, the more powerful one right now. When Watson Smith backs up against the ropes, he right. always pushes his hands down by his waist for a split second. Yeah, that's where you see Lemaire trying to Good close uppercut. that. Yeah, that's why Lemaire's right. closing that distance, right. trying to right. capitalize right. on that. Right. Let's go. Right. Oh, a big right hand just misses. Yep. Yep. A push down there for Lemaire, whose face looks a mess. Yeah, he looked right. at himself in the on the big screen. So Lemaire, who could certainly be a male model right now, looks anything but. His eyes are swollen, a cut over his eye, and his nose is busted open. Yeah, Mike Lemaire just yelled at us from headbutts. He wants to let us know to make sure we tell everybody they're from headbutts. Oh, that was a high kick that connected. Break, break, clean break. They almost promise blood every time Mike Lemaire fights. He always comes to scrap. Well, he's not taking a backward step. And there's that right hand. It is there every time. Yeah, especially his last fight with Abraham, he really wants to make sure he steals this decision because it's coming down to this round. The leaks. When you think he's out, he for some reason finds right, that sneaky right. little uppercut. Go, go. Yeah, he looks find some life. He looks exhausted, he looks gassed, and then lands a couple of shots. Break! Break! Turn around, break! Turn around. Let's go. Break. Lemaire certainly looks fresher. Good knee. Yeah. Watson Smith was looking at the clock. There's a low kick. Yep. Now he's listening to the corner, hitting the body. Here comes a right hand, like clockwork. Right, right. Let's go. Come on. Fight. Oh, nice knee. Big knee from the mayor. And then a right hand. Break. Back up. Back up. Back up. Stop. Ten go. seconds Fight. to go. Another uppercut, but the mayor now changing levels. Low kick sets up the high kick. Right, right, right. And that'll do it. Bloodied and ugly. But I think he did enough to get the win. Mike Lemaire started slow, finished strong. Yeah, I mean, once he started picking up, he found the pressure, found his low kicks at some points. But ultimately, it came down to the, the pressure he had in his hands, and especially continually landing that right one. The decision, when we return, you're watching Glory 71 Chicago. 
We welcome you back to Chicago. Look, there's Asa Tin Pal, the American Ninja, the number six featherweight in the world. He'll be fighting Zachariah Ooh, Zuccari. That gave me chills. In December on the Collision 2 card. Yeah, I'm excited for that one. Let's show you what just went down between Mike Lemire and Malik Watson-Smith. Well, it was a, a good first round for Malik Watson-Smith. Two out of the three judges giving it to him, but round two, the pressure of Mike Lemire started to add up. We saw him coming in, really pressuring with his hands and his knees on the inside, but he just kept landing that right hand. You kept seeing Malik Watson-Smith's head pop back a bit, but Watson kept finding life in it. He kept finding the uppercuts, but the pressure of Lemire was just too much, mixing in his low kicks. You saw good right hands mixed as a straight or a right hook. But you saw two cuts on the mare, lots of blood, but that's not stopping him. Let's look at our fight statistics, strike count. Mike LaMare landing more than double the punches of Malik Watson-Smith, although the kicks tilted in Malik's favor. Tim Hughes with the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of stand-up combat, we go to the judges' scorecard. Let's take a look at the totals. Two of our judges score 29-28. Our third and final judge, season 30-27. All for your winner by unanimous decision, Mike LaMare! I'm with your winner, Mike Lemaire. Man, a, t a pretty scrappy fight, man. How did yeah. you feel about your performance? Uh, you know, Lou, uh, obviously I wanted to do better. Um, I was think I really wanted to, you know, the finish. But, you know, I think he comes from the Muay Thai background a little bit, used to that clinch. And uh, over the years with Glory, I've learned that as soon as I go to the clinch, because I come from Muay Thai, I let go right away. Um, but, you know, the referee kind of kept it going in the clinch. So, he kind of stole me a little bit. I think by the second uh, round, I started finding my rhythm, finding my hands a little bit more. I hurt my foot really bad, though. I think in the first round, the plan was really slow him down with the low kick. Couldn't do that because my foot really hurts. And he backs up a lot, which is kind of hard to find the, the range anyway. Um, I saw your dad and your mom on the bus, you know, uh, since Glory 9, so it was nice to see them. Uh, what's up, San Diego? À la maison en France, tous les Français qui regardent. Merci pour le support. And uh, yeah, very excited, man, for the win. Well, what would you like next from here? Well, you know what? I really want to go back home in France and fight. So obviously, I like a top three. You know, that wasn't my best performance. But uh, obviously, my last fight also in Miami was a fluke. I know I won. So that will put me at a 5-0 right now in glory. Five wins in a row. So I think I, I'm ready for the top five, top three. And I deserve it. All right, Chicago, let's hear it one more time for Mike Lemaire. <laughs> 